My name is Christian from Solitech Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your cross-reference style. As you can see on my screen, I've got a couple of relays and I can already see at the color of the contacts that they have been associated. So the color green here of my contact means it's going to be associated and I can see the cross-reference style as well. I can also see, for instance, that that one here is blue which means that it hasn't been associated to a contact yet and it's free for me to use. Now, how do we customize this? What we can do is we can go up here to my project tab, drop down configurations, and let's go to cross-reference drawing. This will pop up the following screen. On the general tab, I've got the option to change the different colors over here. So when a circuit is used, it's going to be green. Um, if it's if there is no reference, let's say there is no contact available anymore, even though I still place it, it will become red. So we can customize these colors as well. You can simply left click on it and change the actual color to, for instance, magenta. As you can see now, as soon as I change the configuration file, my contacts are automatically updated. You can also just change that back to the normal color again. We can choose two different styles, parrot and table and parrot and line. Those two different styles you can choose when you actually place the contact and the relay on your schematic. So they're both different styles. And as you can see for both styles, we can customize the label, terminal number and symbol positions as well. Same over here. Three contacts available, three contacts in our red. So they're, two, they're, they're not available, but have been placed. We've got some green contacts as well, which means that they've successfully been associated. So you can set up various different parameters. And on the last step, what we can do over here is we can set up the symbols. So if we use a normally open contact, this will be the symbol that is going to be used in the actual cross-reference drawing. So if we just make this a little bit smaller and have a look at what I've got over here. As you can see, we've got a time delayed um, switch. So it uses the TS as well. So you can see it uses different symbols for different relays. And we can change that and completely customize that as well by just selecting the symbol over here. Um, and we can customize that to another symbol if we want to, or associate another symbol to the actual um, contact as well so time delayed that's the one I've just used as well all right guys that's it for this week's video thank you for watching